For the 80th time on the PGA Tour, Tiger Woods is a winner. And Tiger, you and I have talked after more than a few of them. And this one, given all you've endured, I, I would ask you, how would you best describe what it mm. represents to you? Uh, well, it's still surreal that I've been able to uh, have won this, won this event. I mean, to, to go against uh, Rory in the final group and, and Rosie, you know, tie with uh, with Rory, and uh, it was a, a tough day and uh, lots of emotions. I'll tell you that right now. It was a day that was like so many of your wins in the past. You have a lead on Saturday night. It's fairly significant. You birdie the first, and then you go into grind mode. You, you've talked about how much you've enjoyed that through the years. At what point Sunday, yeah. Tiger, did you feel like I'm going to win? Uh, once I made that par at, at 17, uh, it was still up in the air. I didn't, um, you know, I, I bogeyed, you know, 15, 16, and uh, I have a two-shot lead. I could easily make bogey there at 17, but to uh, take on that pin and try to put it past the hole, which I was able to do, but that was a muffy lie that, you know, I just didn't, you know, I, I, it came up better than I than I, I thought it would and I was gonna make par there having a two shot lead playing last hole par five where I can't drive an iron it is a big deal than playing with a one shot lead. So that, this is the micro the macro just pushing back to the when in this comeback this year of coming back from where you were to this point when did you believe this year Tiger that a day like this could be possible. Well, it, it happened early for me. You know, I had a chance to uh, to win at, at Tampa. You yeah. know, that was I missed the cut at L.A. and I added Tampa because I, I thought I could. I thought my body could handle a couple more rounds, um, get ready for the Masters. And lo and behold, I finished one shot back of a, of, a, of a playoff and finished second. So early part of my process of trying to come back and compete again. You know, I. I found out that you know I could play at this elite level. I, I could do it again, and you know, lo and behold, I had a, the lead at the back nine of, of the Open Championship. I had um, a chance to uh, f you know force it into a playoff and put a lot of heat on Brooks at the PGA. And so I put myself there in a, a number of occasions so far this year, and I figured it was just a matter of time, just being patient with it, that it would come around. And uh, this week, you know, I really doing doing. I really didn't do anything great, but I didn't do anything poorly either. You know, I was very consistent from tee to green, and um, I missed the ball in the correct spots the, uh, the entire week. You putted it pretty great, and I gave you a hard time about putting that putter away, and, and we joked a bit about it. I mean, you've, you've only won about a billion yeah. dollars with that thing. What the hell were you doing putting that thing in the closet, man? I know, I know, I know, I know. I get it, I get it. Um, yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> if, if maybe I just need to punish it a little bit, you know, and it realized that you there know you it, it could be sat down. And, <laughs> but I, I felt very comfortable rolling it uh, this week, and uh, for some reason, you know, the, a lot of the putts I had early in the week, I kept having leaving myself. I was hitting the ball so well that I kept leaving myself uphill putts. So I never faced you know, what a lot of these guys were facing as fast as the greens were. Um, I was able to be aggressive. Today was a complete opposite. I, I felt like I didn't have anything where I could take a run at it. I was putting defensively all, all day, and uh, that makes a big difference when the greens are running you know, at you know, 13, 14 on, and they're Bermuda and they're grainy. You mentioned the emotions, and you and I traded some texts after St. Louis at the PGA. The scene when you finished there was amazing, and I think it was topped by 18 on Sunday. It was insane. And you said to Steve Sands afterwards, like, it was hard to keep it together. What has it meant to you, Tiger, to have so many people who just desperately want to see you do what you did, which is win again? Yeah, I, I, I am very appreciative of, of it all because uh, I, I don't know, you know, what the, what the time timeline is for me. I don't know how many more years I have of doing this at this level. And uh, a year ago, I didn't know if I'd, I'd do this again. So a lot of emotions, a lot of things have, have been very fluid this entire year. And uh, it's just amazing that uh, the support I've, I've gotten, um, I, I've, I probably wouldn't have, have achieved the things I've been able to achieve this year without the support of, 
of all the people and all the fans, and they're they're cheering and they're because um, I've had bad rounds, I've had bad days where I just didn't play well, and they've been so supportive and, and trying to pick me up. And uh, trust me, it, it helps. And then you have days like today when it was just you know off the chain coming in, and uh, as okay, I didn't see it because I was out in front of it, but. It was a sound I, I certainly won't ever forget. Well, wait till you see it. It was nuts. And I, I want to just mm. close. I just want to close with this. And I know you haven't spoken to him yet because you've been talking to all of us. But just for your kids now, Tiger, they're old enough to now really get it, to see dad be the guy they've heard about. For how much have they enjoyed this process leading up to this day? And how much do you imagine they'll enjoy seeing dad win? I think they, they understood a little bit more at the Open Championship this year when they saw uh, saw me take the lead, and they felt that that rush and that buzz in, in the gallery and the, the people talking and the excitement. Uh, they've never seen that, or experienced that, or felt it, and it's a little different when you're able to. Now I think they're able to, to remember this this day and this moment, and especially the you know, the process of because you know for a long time they equated golf to dad's hurting more so dad don't don't try and play don't try and practice because you'll be in more pain uh, now they're starting to see the, the joy that I, I get from it and I think that they're starting to really enjoy it because of it as well right on you got any gas left in the tank for Paris I imagine you'll find some somewhere right I think that uh, we'll be all right tonight when we head over there <laughs> I imagine you will. Go call your kids, Tiger. Congratulations. It was, a, it was a hell of a lot of fun. I don't know if you took it for granted, but I think a lot of us did, that you just win because you always did. But it was, uh, it was a joy to watch you enjoy this moment again, man. Congratulations.